Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, performing another Super Mario Odyssey experiment. Uh, last time we got through the Lost Kingdom, so now we are, we're here in uh, New Donk City. I'm going to try to get through here without using any power lines. If I do capture one, I'm just going to uncapture it, or, you know, jump out where I started, basically. Uh, but I, sh I think it's possible to do this without actually capturing any power lines, so we'll see how we go. Uh, the first obstacle we'll run into here is the fact that to get down there, you're supposed to use a power line from here to get down there. I don't think we need to, though. Basically, if you come over here, uh, you can do a cappy roll jump from this spot. To get over, like that. <laughs> and that gets us into the city without using any power lines, which is a great start. Uh, we're going to go over the rooftops. I forget whether there are actually any mandatory power lines. I'll do my best to avoid it, all of them, but we'll see how we go. Uh, set up here. That to get up there. There we go. Uh, we're getting close. So, yeah, we have to climb to the top of uh, New Donk City Hall first, as you may remember. Thankfully, I don't think we need to use power lines to do that, even though there are a bunch of power lines all over it. That didn't work. I think I'm going to do this pipe will take us where we want to be anyway, though. So that's easy. Q, Q, Q. Cool. Uh, we haven't got any moons yet. There are a few you can get during this part of the kingdom, but we're not going to blow them. We'll just get them once we, once we save the city. There we go. Unless there's some that are just, like, in the middle of our path. Which case, we will get those. Uh, set up these stairs here. Power line there. This one's easy to skip though. Like, it doesn't require any tricky jumps or anything. You just have to make your way around here and do some wall jumps instead. Which is a completely intended way to do things. Since there are some powerful coins here. Easy peasy. Uh, I might grab that moon while we're here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Uh, then we have to go inside, I believe. Yes. Yep. Just head inside the city hall here. There aren't any power lines inside, I believe, so we should be fine for this bit. Head over here if you want to take a bit of a shortcut. There's another moon up here, I believe. Uh, I did say I wasn't going to go for the moons on the way, but yeah, may as well. Da, 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 da. Yeah! We didn't need 20 anyway, so we may as well grab a few as we go. There's a couple of coins up here, so if you want a few coins, you can get them here. Uh, can I get a little bit from here? Uh, it's probably a bit too far. Maybe I do it diagonally? Maybe. No, that wasn't a Cappy roll jump, that was a, an air bounce. You have to get Cappy on the platform or it won't work. There's a life up heart here, because there's a boss battle coming up, and they usually give you a life up heart for those. Okay, uh, this next part, I believe it wants you to use power lines, but you don't have to. You can see there's a power line here, uh, but I don't think we have to use it. Let's have a look right now. I 
I think if we do some awesome wall jumps just here. Okay, just like the other one, we can avoid the power line just by doing some wall jumps. And then we can go around on these little ledges here to climb up to the same spot it was going to take us. As you can see, there's the power line, and we made it. So this is the boss battle, we can't really skip this, so let's go ahead and do it. Uh, it's not too hard. Just gotta capture the tank, and get shooting. I really like this boss battle music. I like how like jazzy it feels because it's giving you an idea of what your own city's about, but it's all menacing as well. It's, it's a good mix. Uh, anyway, this is just normal stuff, so it's not too exciting. I've seen me do the sponge dunk before, so... So yeah, easy, easy boss. Since this one is one of the few mandatory bosses, it makes sense that they made it easy. Uh, but yeah, so we've now done the first Story Moon and opened up most of New Donk City without using any power lines. If we just hit this. And that takes us on to the next part of the story with the normal version of Mudonk City. Uh, you're supposed to use that power line there to cross, obviously. We're not going to. Uh, we could just warp over to the helipad, I think. Yeah, because we actually hit that checkpoint on the way, but uh, we're going to do another Cappy roll jump, I reckon, just because they're awesome. Um, it's a, it's a little tricky to get this down, but with a bit of practice, it's not too hard. The key is to remember that you want to do the, the bounce later than you'd expect, uh, because, uh, basically because, uh, the bounce gives you more height, so it looks like you're further down than you should be. Like, as well as distance, obviously, bouncing gives you height and distance. Uh, if we head over here, we can get a moon buried under this garbage. Yeah! I don't know who did pile garbage on this. Shocking. <laughs> now I'm going to try avoiding using the poles as well, probably. Um, I don't think they're, they're ever needed, unlike the power lines that are supposed to be needed, but, you know, just for the, just for the fun of it. Um, there was a moon down here we could have gotten earlier. Uh, this is one of the ones that's available before you've saved New Donk City, so we could have gotten this already, but we didn't. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, but now we've got it. I don't know if I'll be doing the story. Uh, maybe. I think I can do the story, but it doesn't involve too many more power lines, so I might try to focus on Minor Moon, since the city does have various power lines all over the place. Uh, 
Come on there, watch out for that. Come <laughs> uh, over here, you can see that there's another one of these. You can activate, there we go. I believe this room is the germ room. We should be able to do the moons in here without too much trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Germ uh, room done. Easy peasy. Let me just head up here for another quick moon. Yeah. I'm not sure whether we can do the stuff through that pipe, but let's go have a look. Da 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 da. Oh, uh, that rocket doesn't count as a power line because it's a rocket, it's not a power line. <laughs> like, obviously. <laughs> so we can use it. But this might be one of the power line based rooms, in which case we can't do it. Oh no, it's this one. We can do this one. Cool. Uh, I believe it's possible to get all the way up there and just skip the whole area. Hmm, I'm not sure how you would do it though. Also, you would miss the other moon if you did it that way. Which I don't want to do, I want to get both the moons. So this is pretty easy, you just gotta swing back and forth. Thanks, friend. And if you mess it up, you can just do that. <laughs> yeah! What an athlete, breaking his legs. Heck, sure is. It's not that hard. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, cool. We're more than halfway there. And we've not used a single power line. Uh, let's walk back to the cafe, I guess. Uh, we can get most places without using them. I think it's impossible to get on top of New Donk City Hall, though. Uh, because those little ledges we used earlier are now gone. So they're no longer an option at our disposal. Power line just here is also a chest here. I think this one. Yeah, some of the coins. I can just walk away and have it keep going. Yeah, it looks like it. I think. Yeah, I think it was going to end it just then anyway, so yeah. I don't know if you can reach um the park over there without using the power line. You can get a lot of height without using any power lines, and maybe you can make your way over that way, but I'm not sure. around up here. See what's doable and what's not. So yeah, we can't actually reach the very top. If you went through here, we could get close, but if you look up. Yeah, if you look up, you can see that those uh, little scaffolding pieces that were there earlier are no longer there, so we can't use them to get across. There's a moon just here. You can fit. There's another one of those rumble moons in just about here, I think. Yes. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. So you can get that just by ground pounding in the right spot. Pretty easy. Uh. Uh, there is a moon at the top of that tower. I don't know if we can get up there because the forks haven't shown up yet, uh, which we would normally use to do that. I believe one of these barrels, if we put ourselves in the right spot, we can actually clip into this wall using the barrels. But I'm not sure what the spot is, so I'm gonna be able to pull it off. Let's go to experiment a little bit. 
And I don't know if it works on this version of the game either. It might not. Also, I don't know which barrel it is, so I don't know if I'm in the right spot or not. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be working. He might have been patched. Or I might just not know the technique, which is entirely possible. Uh, go over here, we can get the Captain Toad moon, but that's a bit too easy in my opinion. So let's not do that one. Uh, here's where the other set of power lines was. I think we can reach the top garbage moon, that one up there on that big pillar. Maybe if we went through here again? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. You might have guessed I didn't really plan this out in any way, so I'm just experimenting. <laughs> uh, let's see. Chop at that power line. You know the Cappy Roll jump from here, I reckon? Just go over here, there we go. There are other ways to get up here. If you go to the other side, I think you can actually just get your way up by climbing the ledges and stuff, but that was fun. Da da da! Yeah! Uh, this one you can also reach from below just by doing a bit of wall jumps, but you know, it's fun to do things like that. I don't know if you can actually... Well, maybe you can, hang on. Yep, cool. <laughs> uh, that was fun. Uh, let's see, let's see. What else can we do? We visit some of the sub-areas. Uh, there's one down here we can do. This is just a... Uh, I think this is the taking notes one with the 2D area and the 3D area. Yes. So you sit inside the pipe. Do a bit of easy platforming. This is pretty hard if you, you know, you start crouching or anything like that, but otherwise it's not hard. Uh, that was kind of a mistake, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. What order you do these in, it'll still work. Because the moon is a 2D moon, so you have to go back inside the wall to get it, but it's no big deal. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so we've got six more to go, making good progress. Still haven't needed to use a power line at all, which is pretty cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, we can do this. I haven't managed to pull off this clip yet. Actually, maybe I'll give it a go. Uh, basically, if you get the scooter here, uh, you can actually tilt the scooter a little bit to the side and get the moon inside that box without using the IC car. And this way is apparently much faster. Whoa, we did it! First try, gosh. <laughs> cool. Uh, so that was easy. Um, what else need, needs done? at this checkpoint out here. I don't think you really use that one much. There's not really a whole lot out here worth going to. Let's see. There's the cutie cap store. If you wanted to buy uh, a cap for your cutie, then you can get one there. Call it cutie cap because the word they actually use is, is bad. <laughs> oh, that's cute. And because Cappy is a cutie, so calling the store cutie cap is more accurate in my opinion. No, come back here. Silly seed. No! How Mario just jumps on top of cars here. No one will mind. <laughs> Is 
think I can get the taxi menu already. I think it unlocks pretty early. Maybe not though. I can't see it, so maybe not. It's actually the Sphinx anyway, so the taxi. Uh, we can't get the tourist, even though they would be here, because we didn't touch the sand in the Sand Kingdom, and therefore we didn't unfreeze the, their, um, the taxi. Uh, interesting thing about... Oh, hey, bench friends! We can do this, because we're not crouching. If you just sit with this guy here... Oh. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. So yeah, that's bench friends. One of the moons we can't get in the crouching run because you have to sit next to that fellow. Uh, we could go out and buy the costume and do this room, but there's not not actually much point because that room is based around using power lines, and I'm pretty sure we can't do it without them. <laughs> we could do the story moons, uh, but I don't really know the moon for story moons. Let's find something else to do. Uh, what's this one about? I don't remember. Oh, this one, right. It's bullet building. Okay, if you just head over to the side here, uh, there's one moon at the top there, you can see. And so the bullets aren't much of a threat here, I'm not really sure what they were thinking. Because they don't do very much, they sort of crash into the poles and things and not hit you. As you can see. So yeah, that moon is easy. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! And there is another moon in here. If you look over there, you can see there's like just, a, just another dumpster just floating in midair for no reason. We're just gonna make our way up to that dumpster. There we go. I think I can probably do like a cappy roll jump from here, that would be pretty cool. Yep, easy. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! And that's all we can do in this room. Uh, we got the purple coins, we got all the stuff worth getting, so we're good. Okie doke, we need uh, two more moons. Uh, Let's see, where should we go next? What's fun? So yeah, um, Nidok City is big enough that it's very, very easy to do the moons you need once you've done the initial story part, which basically just involves one cappy roll jump to skip the one required power line. Uh, wasn't too tricky. Uh, let me think. What's fun? Well, this whole game is fun. I'm not playing it. But you know, like, what should I do next, specifically? <laughs> oh my goodness. I just talked to Pauline. Hey, Pauline. Hi. Okay, she's looking for musicians, so we could talk to the musicians and get them in that way, but that's a bit easy, so maybe I'll do something else. Uh, did that already. Another sub area over here we can do. Uh, is this door right? That's the one with the with the T-Rex, which is pretty fun. Uh, so yeah, let's do the T-Rex one. That's two more moons. That'll do the trick. Um. So yeah, you just got to get on this little scooter here and basically go for the yellow lines. It's not too hard, and the controls are quite good. So, it's fun. Basically, you just want to move when the T-Rex is forward so that you guard the way. Ta-da! 
da 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 yeah. Sorry, T-Rex. ba da ba da ba da ba yeah. That's all the ones we need, so well done us. Uh, to get back to the Odyssey, I don't think a carry roll jump will work. We actually have to, uh, warp back because we can't use the power line. Yeah, you can see that's much, much higher up, so there's no way we're going to be able to make that with a Gabby Roll Jump. Uh, however, if we just warped the Odyssey, we don't have to use the power lines. So, easy peasy. <laughs> <sighs> Problem solved. Uh, bloop. I like how the paint sort of comes off the Odyssey in different spots as you go, because it got broken in those spots. It's an interesting effect. Uh, when you like clear the story, it actually repairs all of this. All that damage to the paint and stuff, so it looks good at the end, but during the story you can see it's getting beaten up as you travel and it, it gives a lot of a lot of character to the Odyssey, I think. Uh, I think I've said before, the Odyssey is, is quite a rich character in my opinion, which I like. Also, huh, I forgot this moon was here. We could have gotten that, but we didn't. <laughs> I'll just grab it now, may as well. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! There we go. Uh, so let's head out and out. Uh, I think next we're probably going to Snow Kingdom. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll do for an experiment there. Um, there aren't a whole lot of different terrain types, so I can't say, you know, don't walk on snow, because it's it's all snow. There's not really anywhere else to go. <laughs> um, but maybe we can think of something. Yeah, Snow and then Seaside. I think I already did Seaside without swimming too much uh, in the crouching challenge, just because swimming makes you uncrouch. Um, so that's probably covered. Maybe I'll do Seaside without touching sand? I don't know. Um, I mean, there isn't that much sand. A lot of it's underwater, so... Uh, I might experiment a bit off camera and see. But first up, we're going to do the Snow Kingdom, and we'll see how that one goes. I don't really have much of a plan. Let's have a quick look around when we get there and just have a think about it. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. That's Metro Kingdom without using any power lines. It's pretty easy, actually. It's like one difficult jump. Can't the Cloud Kingdom, except there's a lot more actual kingdom left over afterwards. Uh, in the Cloud Kingdom, uh, you can get to the Battle Arena without using the little hat platform thingies by doing a Capy Roll Jump. See, um, if you said no snow, let me just have a look. Just a quick, just a quick check before I'm actually going to do it in this this video. I just want to have a look around and see what's possible. If you said no snow, you could get into the Odyssey and then jump down into the water here. Uh, which gets you away from the Odyssey. But then you have to go on this platform, which is snow. Um, maybe... See, there's just snow everywhere. There isn't really any word you can use to get around it. Uh, there, are, there are some icy parts up there that you can stand on, but they're all surrounded by snow, so they're not really much of a viable option. Hmm. Also, yeah, if you keep doing this, scour the water straight away into a cap bounce, so you will not take damage, which is handy. So yeah, uh, I don't think that would be possible without touching any of this snow, especially since there's snow covering the portal into Shiveria Town. Hmm. Let me just have a look around down here and see what I can find. I won't be doing any moons, I just want to have a quick look and see. See, the town is also snow everywhere. 
Uh, you could maybe jump into these little carts, but they have snow on top of them, so... Um... And you can't use momentum from bouncing off of the, like, residents either, because there's for some reason bouncing on someone kills you momentum, I don't know why. Yeah, there's just, there's not a lot of different kinds of surface here, so I couldn't say without touching snow, because the whole kingdom is, is made of snow. I don't know. I don't know what I can do with this one. I'll think about it. Um, but yeah, Metro without doing power lines is pretty easy. Uh, just gotta use one cappy or I'll jump to enter the city. And once you've entered the city, it's not too hard. You just gotta do the moons that don't involve, uh, you know, touching power lines, basically. Not too hard. Whereas Shiveria, I, d I don't know. Uh, I just have to think about it, I guess. Uh, I could try to pull off uh, the snow uh, strat that you used to get up there early. I don't know if it's possible in the blizzard, and I don't know how to do it, so I have no idea if it's possible to do it uh, with the techniques at my disposal, so maybe. So you can see it's very far. Um, it might be easier with two-player mode, actually, because you could just send Cappy out in front of you further than normal and have a hit the checkpoint. Hmm. I don't know, I'll, I'll think about it, I'll think about it and do an experiment here next time I suppose, once I've thought of one. If I don't think of one, I'll just skip ahead and do something in Seaside. Uh, I'm thinking maybe not touching any sand, which would be interesting. Like the sand area of Seaside is small-ish, but there's a whole bunch of little islands and most of them have some sand on them, so I think it would be interesting. Uh, we'll see how we go. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and I'm gonna just uh, sit on this chair. There we go. Cute. <laughs>